The journey started from the clean coastal line known for its intellectuals, oldest buildings, powerful families, and the first stop was Vume, the town known for poetry. <laughs> the Sokakopa Beach Resort for a sumptuous lunch and more. <laughs> we journeyed straight to the Fort Presenstein. A rude awakening, yet educating tour of what our forebears went through to Ablochi, loosely translated as they were lured to go with them, not to return. So you can hear noise. When you go, you not see anything. The haunted place. Yes. Yeah. And then some, you know, the fort was built with mercury. In those days, they realized that some of our forefathers were having powers that when they lean on the wall, they would just incarcerate some words and then vanish. So they put mercury. And those, yeah. And those that attempted got stuck. That's why when they see what is destroying the fort, you can see human remains inside the walls of the fort. So this shows that they, are, they also made an attempt to escape. So we, ha we have the mercury. So right now, when the wall developer cracks, you see mercury coming out of the walls. This is why the female slave bath. So when they are taking their bath, governor stand at the top and then select. Yes. And then he uh, slept with some of them. That's why you have a lot of mulattoes in uh, the top there. The governor office is there. So you have a uh, chance of watching the female slave when they are bathing. So the and then select, and the security well. men send those who up to him. He sleeps with some of them. That's where you have uh, those mulattoes I was telling you about. Yeah, so this, this is how the fort will look like. The fort, the sea destroyed part of it. Yeah, so this is the watchtower where the security men stay to overlook the entire building. And those slave trade was a trade by butter. They were using brandy, whiskey, mirror in exchange for slaves. And then later on, they start using cowrie shells. So 500 of the cowries buy a female slave. And 300 of these buy a male slave. The male reason the female give birth over there. And they sell to other plantation owners. That's why the female were more expensive than the male slaves. Then there were more lessons on slave trade at the Atoko slave market. Currently, we are at the Atoko slave market. I mean, when you look around, what that ha has actually happened here, it's something that tears could be running through your, your eyes, I, I believe. So we have our tour guide, the stories that he has actually shared with us. I mean, when you look on uh, the printings of the, the drawings, the walls and the things we have here, you could actually tell the pain, the grievances that our forefathers went through. Some of them were being raped. Some of them, they had this big chain, the yokes on their necks. I mean, it was, it was a bitter experience, I believe, for many of them. Moving forward, we were asking that whenever these whites, they come down here to visit all these places, what, what has ever been the messages they've been getting to these whites? He says that they've been charging them to try as much as possible to create some work opportunity so that I mean, the children of this, our forefathers here, yeah, they could not benefit to have some kind of employment, you know, have some businesses installed here. I believe that moving forward, when we have all these things in place, Ghana could actually move forward and also be a better place. Now, come with me to the Cape St. Paul Lighthouse. Think again if you have the slightest thought that I am faint-hearted. I did climb, but unlike Jifa, I didn't go all the way to the top. But, of yeah. course, I went farther than Bernard. We then hit the road again, this time off to Joje to visit the Maflix Trust Ghana. It's West Africa's largest exporter of potatoes and other vegetables, and also to have a taste of agro-tourism. Well, we are currently at the Maflix um, Trust Farm. 
We are currently at the Maflex Trust Farm here in Juje, Tajavu, we are told. Well, behind me you can see the greenhouses. I've counted them, it's seven by three of them. It's just one of the farms that we are visiting as part of our Volta Fair. You can see, you've told you that our Volta Fair is made up of three main uh, themes. It will be on agribusiness, tourism, and then of course IT. Well, you can see, I'm sure that later on you get to see all the videos from this place. A very wonderful place, a beautiful irrigation, a number of crops. We've seen the beautiful potatoes, the okra, amongst others. This is one of the main reasons why you need to be part of the Volta Fair. So you exhibit and then you can uh, attract investors as well for your business. This is just one of them. You need to be part of the Volta Fair as part of also Visit Volta and experience Ghana. We are mechanizing agriculture. We are doing it the right way right here in the Volta region. Be part of it as well. We are in the official residence of the Volta Regional Minister, Dr. Archibald Lecha. Hey, I'm Dr. Archibald Yao Lecha, the Minister for the Volta region. And uh, this year, November, we'll be having the Volta Trade uh, Cultural and Investment Fair. And um, I, I want to welcome everybody, everybody, wherever you are, whether in this country, whether you are from Volta region or everybody all over the world is invited to come and join us from uh, 15th to, to, to 28th of November. So I welcome you all. And it's time to party the Volta way. Destination is the home of the AGI president for Volta, Oti and Easting, Della Gajanku. What a host he was. The trip to the highest human settlement of Amejope, Mount Gemi, and Ote Waterfalls was a long time coming, considering how much I had heard about the place. I know, I had to stop at my alma mater, Ola Girl Senior High School. It definitely brought back memories. Zama, 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 zama. Swimming is allowed. Where are boss who? Ah, Uncle Injai. I am ready. You ready, ready? From the Willy Waterfalls, I'm ready. You gotta visit the Volta and experience Ghana. We are here. <laughs> Hi guys, this is the Willy Waterfalls. After walking for 45 minutes, crossing how many bridges? In fact, I have made it. I'm a hero in my own right. But today we are talking about visiting Volta and experiencing Ghana. This is what we do. We are preparing for the Volta Fair in November. And as part of the places you ought to visit, this ought to be it. I don't know how you visit here and still say there is no God. You see this and know that this is certainly God. It is just God. And it's right here in the Volta region. You can't miss it as part of your tours of the Volta region. Really, Waterfalls has to be the place to be. Just contact me. I'll make arrangements for you to be here. Don't worry at all. I'll make arrangements. Fafa is available. The entire team are waiting for you to bring you right here to the Volta region. And then you get to experience Ghana. This will be the prelude to the Volta Fair in November. So, you know, it's like what? A year of return for all Volterians. Right here. See you soon. 
Visit Volta Experience Ghana. Bye. Assuming that even the flight starts and you land in Ho, the first place you want to visit is we have the Ho Museum, which is a place you can go and learn about heritage and everything there is to know. We have the Evangelical Presbyterian or the Bremen Missionary history and their, his, their heritage also at Hopuji. You can go and learn a lot about the place. Um, the various communities in Ho also have their, even the names and things have their meanings. Now, let me give you one more reason why you have to visit the Volta region as soon as you can. Let's head to the Afajato South constituency and visit the famous Mount Afaja. My next visit will take me to the Monkey Sanctuary, the Snake Farm, the White Clay Pit known as Agatawe or Ayelo Atamfuega, among others. That trip will be soon, so catch me if you can. But by all means, be at this year's Volta Fair in November. Visit Volta and experience Ghana.